Welcome again to the Blueprint Reading Space Cast. Welcome, my Blueprint Reading Maniacs. Here we go. We're working on page 63. Okay. So we're talking about center lines here. So remember I told you not only does it give a center to a circle, but we can also see that it's the center of what? Of our weld. Okay. So we're showing center lines for pitch. So I have from here to here is two inches to the center of this from here to here to here, right? And then it's giving me four inch pitch, okay? And it's saying the width of my section is two inches, so center to center, etc. okay? Now, here it is, put, you know, look at these center lines and put the correct welds in. Uh, pretty easy, so it gives me a long, short, long, so we know this is the center of the weld. Remember, when we're looking at pitch, it goes from center to center, okay? All right, here we go. Study the example of extension and dimension. I kind of mentioned this earlier. An extension line tells me from the edge of my part to say, how big is it? How big is it when I put my arms out for the fish? It was this big. I'm extending my hands to show you the size. Well, these are kind of the extending my hands to show you the size of the part and able to measure it, okay? So this would be an extension line, okay? This, from here to here, is the dimension line. This is where I'm gonna put the size of the part. So here it is. What is the length of the fillet weld in inches? Draw the weld in the top view and dimension the leg length. It seems it's kind of weird. So what they want is they want you to put the weld where it belongs, and then you're going to use extension, okay, and then dimension. Now extension and dimensions can work in two ways. We can put the dimension like this and arrows to the center, or we can do it like this from the outside. When we have smaller um, areas, we're going to put them towards each other versus extending it, okay? All right, so you're gonna put it here and here. Dimension lines can be drawn between center lines to indicate the center to center. I think we kind of figured that one out already, okay? So from here to here is a half inch to the center, but our pitch is actually one. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Please make sure you guys are asking questions. If this doesn't make sense, I need to know. I need to be able to explain it differently if you guys aren't getting this, okay? So please, speak up. All right, it says, complete the welding symbol for the chain intermittent welds. What's our length and what is our pitch? Long brake lines. I think they look kind of like lightnings, okay? So the long brake lines or the, light the lightning lines, what they do is they squeeze down information. It's like, how do you say it? The shrink ray, okay? Well, the shrink ray allows you to shrink down a part. So what this says, this part is 200 inches. Well, I might not need to see all 200 inches. I might need to see a piece here and a piece here. I don't need to see the whole thing. So we use what's called long break lines, okay? And then we're gonna put it here in the part to show that it's been broken but we're also gonna put it on the dimension to show, hey, we broke this, okay? All right, so use the top and side views to use brake lines. The bar is 500 inches, dimension the part. Okay, so you're gonna have what? A top view here and a side view here, okay? And we're gonna use the our shrink ray, okay, to show it. All right. So this is the short break line. The best way to explain a short break line is if I have a can, okay, and I have something in it that I need to show. Um, I want you to visualize a regular soda can, and I want you to visualize the tab that gets pushed in. But when we look at it, I cannot see the tab that's pushed in. What this short brake line does is it kind of rips it open so that I can see the interior of the part and how something needs to go inside of it, okay? 
So I might need to see, like if we think about it, this as the tab, I might need to see that needs to get welded right here. If I just have a hidden line, it might not be sufficient enough to show that needs to be welded, okay? Because I'm not able to put a weld symbol on a hidden line. Okay, so here it shows, well, it shows me like a pipe. I can see that. And this here is called a section, which tells me I've ripped it open, okay? And then it shows me the part in here and it needs to be welded all the way around, okay? And then it shows me here, this hole. Oh, so it's starting to make a little bit more sense, okay? All right, so now they used a long break line to make sure that we see that it's been shrunk down a little bit. But then it says, take this information and add a piece of iron angle that join the two blocks. So you're gonna use this iron angle and um, put it together. Show them with object lines what it's supposed to look like in the inside, okay? So you're going to make that, rip it open, okay? Tear it open, tear, give it a tear open and show how this is supposed to look, okay? All right, cylindrical brakes. Well, these are just like lawn brakes, except it's for cylinders or pipes. Same kind of thing, except it's a squiggly instead of a lightning. Okay, same thing. So I have a 14 inch long piece of pipe and use a cylindrical brake. So show that I squeezed it down. Oh boy, we're to the end, woohoo! All right guys, this is really important for you guys to look at. Object line, it's heavy, okay? It shows us the edge of a visible object. It doesn't show anything else but the edge of what I'm looking at, okay? Hidden lines. Now, hidden lines are dashed lines, but they can show me like x-ray vision. If I'm looking at a, a site of a part, that there might be something behind it or within it. Okay. A center line, long, short, long. This is gonna show me the center of a plate, the center of a weld, the center of a circle, etc. Okay. Dimension line. This is the number that I'm gonna put in here to show you how big is it? The measurement. Extension line. These come off the edge of the part. It's saying, how big is it? Okay. Cutting plane. Um, we're going to talk about this um, sooner, but I need to explain to you what it is. What it is is an invisible line or an invisible cut that allows you to see a specific detail of a part without actually being able to slice it open for real. You might need to see that something goes into something. Okay? Leader line, it went that way. I'm pointing specifically to that. Okay. The break line, this is where I ripped something open to show you behind it. A long break line, that lightning, that's my shrink ray. <laughs> So I'm gonna make it go down a little bit smaller so that I can see, uh, fit more information on the page. A section. If I've sliced something open or ripped something open with a break line, or I've used an imaginary cutting plane, it's gonna show me the, the sections where I have actually pretend cut it open. A phantom line, long, dash, dash, long. This can show me movement of a part. The best way to explain this is um, speed lines. If anybody has seen like Speed Racer or any cartoon that shows um, the movement of a character, it gives you lines to show like they're running, okay? Well, it's showing movement. The phantom line shows us that this part might need to move or may need to go in another position. So hey, pay attention, don't weld it shut, okay? All right, guys, as always, Please ask questions. Take care.